when a voltage of 200 volts at 60 hertz is applied to a chicken coil A, the current is taken is 8 ampere and the power is 120 watts. When applied to coil B, the current is 10 ampere and the power is 500 watts. What current will be taken when the supply is applied to the two coils connected in series? Good class, nice cow. Welcome to Emperor Training Works. Please like and subscribe, share this video, and recommend us on any video you want us to post next. Emperor Training Work! Like and subscribe! Sit down with us and watch this video. Look at it step by step. Anything that you don't know, ask. Stay tuned with us and get the best one. Okay, you know, we have, we're going to draw a circle diagram for this. Now, the question this is going to be how to draw a circle diagram. So, first, this is what we're going to do. Are you done with us? We're going to draw one instance first, then a coin. Then we're starting to begin. Here we go! Okay. Are you done with me? Are you done with me? Okay. So now, this is coin A. Let me do that. For coin A. This is for coin B. Okay. This makes itself more lively. It's not the boss. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at this. Uh, we have here two instances. These symbols for instance, These symbols for resultant. These symbols for resultant. So I call them R A instance A, R B instance B. Now, R is equal to B over I. Now B here is hundred. Over I here, our current here is eight hundred. Our current here. Is 10 ampere. Okay, and our power here is 120 watts. Power here is 500 watts. Okay, I know you like this video, you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, so here is the source. The source is what gives it. Power, what give it what makes it to work? Okay. It's been emitted by 100 volts having a constant frequency of 60 hertz. So no matter what current comes up or goes out, the frequency still remains the same. Are you done with me? Okay. Uh, I want to solve first, I want to find the resistance. The reason I'm finding the resistance is because with the resistance, I'll be able to get the impedance. Why am I looking for the impedance? Because with the impedance, I'll be able to get the reactance. Now, if I get the reactance, why am I looking for the reactance for? Because with the reactance, I'll be able to get my current. So the question here says, 
Find what current will be taken when the supply is applied to the two coils connected in series. So once you have that in mind, forget it. It's going to be very, very, very simple. This is what you need, and this is what we are giving you. This is what A students use. Okay. Now it's just like a method. You don't need to cram. You don't need to do. Just a method. Know what step for each step. The moment you know that, this question will not be hard for you. Second term will not be hard for you. And the choice will not be hard for you. They are all made easier with us. Okay? Let me go. First, I'm finding the resistance. Find the resistance. Find the resistance. At each coin. Okay, 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 okay. Find each coin. Okay. Now, a B is equal to I R, the agree, and power is equal to I square R. We also agree with that. Okay. We have power to be equal to I square R. Okay. Now, I want to look for coil A at coil A first. So at coil A, at coil A, let me divide this. At coil A, okay. Power will not just be power alone, it will power at coil A. And current here will not just be the only current, current at what? Coil A squared, at coil A. Then R A. Now, remember I'm looking for what? Call, I'm looking for what? For instance. Now we have value for power A, which is what 120 watts. We have power for current A, which is what 8 ampere. But we don't have a value for our resistance at coin A. So what do you do? You make resistance at coin A the subject of the formula. Is that not? So you have something like R A equals to A over. I square A. How do you do that? You divide both sides by R square A. Divide by R square A. R square A comes to R square A. The left is this. Done? Okay. P A R is what? 120 watts. I square A is what? 8 with a square. 8 square. Is that right? Okay. And 120 divided by 8 square will give us 64. So 120 divided by 64. Give us 1.875 ohm, approximately 1.88 ohm for resistance E. At coil B, RB will be equal to PB over I square B. What makes this channel different from other channels and why you need more is that we give each question, each step you have to follow to get it, not to cram it, but to understand it better. Okay, let's look at this. This is slightly with this sentence out. Now, what we're going to do is find my equation that B is that. I'm going to say 120 is not going to be for B, B, but for this PA, we come to here. PB is PBR, okay, and R was 500 watts. Over I square B, that is 10 square, 10 square, and that's going to be 500 divided by 10 square is 100. So 500 divided by 100, that will come to zero, that will come to zero, and then 5 divided by 1, that is going to be what? 5 ohm. So I'll be, the answer at point B is what? 5 ohm. Isn't that simple? This is not very powerful for that, okay? Now, um, if you like this video, just thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Show me that you are really interested. You want me to release more content on this, okay? And more content on more of your relevant courses. I promise you that if you're an energy student, you're trying to go from, you want to do a direct entry, mostly you're in polytechnic, and you want to do direct entry to any of the university, most of an electrical student or a field student, this video is meant for you, I recommend it for you. And if you're any other faculty, so you need our help in any other relevant subject, we are dear for you. Please like and subscribe, comment on the boss, tell us which video you need next, tell us what, what, which problem you are having now is cause, tell us which advice you need to most.
we are here for you to make sure that you achieve your aims and your objective is, is our desires for you. Okay. Now, five by one. Now, we're looking for what? Uh, for, uh, now, what I think that uh, what, what we look for are less than. The next thing we should be looking at is our what? For impedance. We're looking for less than so as to get our impedance. Okay. Now, what do we get? Let's go. B is equal to I. Ah, uh, then it goes into like that. Okay. But yeah, instead of me to make use of resistance, I will make use of impedance. Because of the circuits we are making use of. So I'm going to call this out to what? Impedance. Impedance is also measured in what? Measured in ohms. So since we have impedance measured in ohms, I can just call here that at coin A, impedance. Voltage of the voltage A, current of the current A, and impedance of the of impedance of A. So voltage A is 300 volt, is constant. And A is what? It's 8 ampere. It's 8 ampere times ZA. So if I divide both by 8, this is also this. So ZA is equals 100 divided by 8. So 100. Divided by 8. I have 12.5. So impedance at point A is equal to 12.5 ohms. We call impedance is also better than what ohms. Ohms, ohms. That is why. Right. Okay. We will do that again for coil B. So at coil B, impedance will be uh, B A over I A. Now, dB rather, dB over IB. dB is 300 volts, it's constant. IB here is going to be what? It's going to be 10. So, 100 divided by 10 will give us 10 ohms. Okay? Now, we're looking for this in order to look for our reactants. Now, how do we get reactants? We call. That. We have impedance to be equal to the root of R square plus L square. Isn't that true? Yeah. We get that from Z square is equal to R square plus S square. Now take the square here to this other side, it makes it to be root. Yeah? We get that from um, a right angle triangle where impedance is our is our what? Hypotenuse. Huh? We'll be explaining it in a video I'm going to be uploading next. Okay, now let's look at this. R square, we'll not go deep into that, into that and because that is not what the question is asking us for. What the question is actually asking us for is something like this. I hope you enjoy it! Okay, so we're going to look at something like this right now. Okay, we'll look at, we have Z, we have R, but we don't have reactants. So then we're going to find reactants now. So I need this formula now to find reactants. Now let me recall, I told you we need our resistance. We have to find the resistance. We use resistance now, we use find to find the impedance. And the impedance, we are using it to find the what? The reactants. From the reactants now, we we'll go to find this, the last Question. It's just like a step, very simple, isn't it? Okay. So, find the reactants. I'm going to do that. It's hard, but simple. You know that. Okay. Z what? Z A and for A. Then here will become R square plus R square A E. Okay. Now, if I take this root back to here, I'll be having something like z square a is equal to r square a plus r square a. You need it? Okay. Now, from there, I want to make reactant sort of the formula. I'm going to be having 
I'm going to take this to the other side. Taking this to the other side, make it minus. So I'm going to have L square A is equal to Z square A minus R square A. Now taking this square to the other side, make it the root of Z square A minus R square A. So now, ask A is equal to that. So now, impedance for A is what? This for B. This for A, yeah. Impedance for A is what? 12.5. 12.5 square. Minus the impedance for A. The impedance for A is what? And the resistance for A is what? Is 1.875. 1.875 square. So 12.5 square. It gives us 156.25 minus 1.875 square 3.52. Okay, so 156.25 minus 3.52. One four. 8.73 the root of it is 12.1 or let's say 12.2 12.2 volts for reactors A ok for reactors B it is going to be the root of Z square B minus R square B So Z square B is 10 square. R square B is 5 square. Okay. So this, the final answer here you should have for that should be um, 8.660 ohm. Okay, so if you're not having that, on the final answer, or close to that range, you know there's a problem. Okay. okay. Now, I think after impedance, what we're going to have, you, 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 I'm going to do, you, 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 yes. After impedance is what? Uh, sorry, after impedance, yeah, after reactions, what we're going to have next? Do I just hear you say, we're going to look for total impedance? Yes, we're going to look for the total impedance. Okay, so if I should recall what we have done, we well, instance, we solve for resistance first at each coil. Next thing we solve for the impedance at each coil. Next thing we solve for the reactance at each coil. Now we're going to solve for the total impedance. That's the total impedance we have to Okay, total impedance. Find the total impedance. I don't even know what the total impedance. What do you mean by that? Is still the same? Formula will make use of here. Impedance because of this. So total of this, okay, is total impedance because of the root of so R square now we have in R A plus R B square plus S A plus S B square. So with that. R A there, we give us R A, or we have R A, we can have 1.88 plus what we have R B, we have 5 square, for S A, we have, what have S A, we have 12.2 plus 8.66 okay, square. So if I should add this together, add this one together, this will give us uh, 6.88 square. 
square, one by negative cos five, and twelve point two plus this will give us twelve twenty. Okay, that's twenty point eight six. Okay, square. So for point from my calculator, our depth, our total impedance should be giving us twenty two point one two ohms. Okay, you can do that, you can do that, you can do that. To so solve this, you should give us 22.2 ohm. Square this, then you answer here, square the carrier answer here, add them together and find the root of it, that's 22.12 ohms. Okay, then after that, we'll look for our, in, our current at, at both coils. Now, we said, what current will be taken when the supply is applied to two coils? When the supply is applied to what? Two coils. So the current that we're taking, we're looking for the current. Current I that I'm taking here. That's what we're looking for. So current I will be equal to, remember B is equal to what? I R. Yeah? So if I should make I sort of formula here, I is equal to what? B over what? R. And here I don't make it of R, this is I will make it of B over Z. And the independence and the are related. They are both measured with what? Ohms. So here this is my B total, and this is my B total. B total here should not come this Voltage is always what? Constant here yeah, in series. So, I will be equal to our beta is 300 volts, but now our total impedance will be giving us 22.12 ohms. And our total impedance, that's the reason why we look for it now. So that each crystal that we sum are somehow related with each other. You get that? So now, 100, okay, because 100 divided by 22.12 will give us 4. 5, 2, and 3. This is our final answer. Would you love to give everyone a thumbs up? Please like this video, refer it to your friends, and I promise to make sure that in your subjects we won't disappoint you. To make sure that we'll give you all the guidelines, all the steps, anything that you want from us, just inbox it to us. Give it to us, we're ready to help you. Questions relevant to circuit theory. At which place are you at? Are you at ND1 or ND2? Or are you planning to go to the university or are you already in the university that you have a related course with this? Let us know in the comments below. We are ready to help you. We are ready to make this safe uh, app ace. Now, if you want to benefit from some of our free PDF concerning solve solution, you just subscribe and comment in the box below. We will make sure that we get it to you in your email. Give, send us your email. Inbox your email. We are going to get make sure that we get to it. Either through this our link or through our website or to, and when I mean my, my website or our website, well, you call it mpoelectricalworks.ng.com.ng, or rather, you email us on our, on our mail, solvingpassquestion at gmail.com. Anyone you, 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 you love to get to us or to our WhatsApp, anyone, we are ready to help you. I love you.